Spider. Hello. So, how about the... I'm not feeling well rested this morning. Here. Uh, I, I forgot I mentioned this yesterday, but... I, I, I don't think I said it yesterday, yesterday, but yesterday was my grandma's birthday. Uh, this is a post where, where we left off, so let's begin. Uh, oh, 2nd of March, 2024. Airline to Atlanta City. Extend airline to Atlanta City. All routes currently terminating at Atlanta Stafford Road will go to Atlanta City. This way, passengers from the airport can change for R-43 and R-81 to Atlanta West and land by the sea. Maybe, maybe one route could go to Edgewood, but that may be a bad idea. Airline to Atlanta City is pretty plausible. Not a bad idea, but there's a little chance it can happen. Do you actually think it's a bad idea or are you opposing it for the sake of opposing it? I wouldn't really like that. Uh, Lynn is as congested as it is. As is. As well as happened to talk to one, actually. Just, I uh, just, uh, just remember that. I've always said that, uh, that uh, said the airline to Lynn is a good idea and I'll stand by that. Also, Lynn is City isn't bad. And that can just a few more platforms can sell this by the way. Also, it's the Harmonix Airing Ranch one more stop. So, this is the first of something I don't know. I think so, but nowadays it'll be pointless as the chain is already made. But when the local deals release, I think it should have soon if it now. It's probably not going to happen. A passenger getting a ticket. Hello, sir. I'd like to get to from Terminal 2 by the sea. Sir, if you take the 1307 service, you'll have to change the lane server. In service to the lane city and then change for the 1321 direct train to the by sea. What? Why do I have to change for one station? Oh, and instead of taking the 1317 service to you can take the. Wait, is it 1317 or 1307? You can take the 1319 stopper service to Lynn by the Sea. Passengers think you will be a van life transfer for Stafford uh, Headquarters. I really said hand quarters. <clears throat> yeah, uh, 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 I, st mm, I, I still like the idea of airing to Lynn City. On the uh, on second of March, twenty twenty four, I think Express Tenere should be scrapped entirely. And some rich suggestions, Express Tenere should be scrapped. It's uh, uh, something I agree with. Express does not belong on that branch. In my opinion, all Express services going by Port Port Benton need to be scrapped, and they should add a new route like South Central Morgantown by Port Benton. Mm -hmm. On connect, Morgan standoffs could become four platform again for this change. Also, I think Stafford Central should stay as a terminus but needs more expansion to the through platforms as I'd love for Airline Hands first to go to Stafford Victoria. That's not a good idea. Stafford Victoria has always been bland, uh, so I'd like for it to be redone look like Food in Houston. Also, Airline can express to Stafford Victoria has been suggested by a community for a long time. Uh, but for this to happen, I think there has to be track expansions and the Beachley Triangle needs to be fixed for this to be put in place. Uh, mm -mm. I've suggested before, Hampton Hargate becomes a tough train station, which I'll stand by, and Stafford Connect Services going by Morgantown and Hampton Hargate would be a cool new route in my opinion. I suggested diversions in the past, but a cool diversion would be caffeine connect services turning on Edgerfield due to Airport Central Terminal 2 being closed. Like a, dis a disruption of that. That'd be interesting. Also, when the station announces says the service is cancelled, they should record. A new part to announce a thing, a replacement bus service is available. But how do they do that? Will like the if will it, there just be like automatic buses? Hmm. Like I think I think the I think it's like a well I think this should be like for uh, for when a station station closes or a, or a part of. Or like a uh, or, or like a branch, uh, or like a section of the track closes, uh, uh, uh closes. That would be more fitting. Uh, a replacement bus service will be more fitting for that. Also, I'm aware connect services which run on the O uh, uh, overhead uh, OHLE cannot run on the waterline track near Morgantown. So section on the Morgantown line for that should be an exclusive route for DMUs only. Comment your thoughts. The people did not comment their thoughts. On the 2nd of March 2024, Airport West and Airport Parkway need to be linked. Like as a walking connection? For example, I'm using Cross Rail as an example. Airport Parkway and Airport West 
thing through an underground passageway. Kind of like Sir Elizabeth's one stations. Uh, yeah. Um, that's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, that would, that'd be nice. I kind of agree, but I don't at the same time. I think the connection is already pretty easy. Well, it's better than the announcers pretending Airport Parkway and Airport West don't have a link. I mean, they, I think they have a walking connection, kind of like a, kind of like a Whitney Green and Bewey Park. On uh, 2nd of March 2024, we need more 12-coach accommodation stations on the first and connect. I suggested this before, but uh, before I think, but connect, I think, but connect to the use of a car and maybe 12-coach trains like the 700. Express needs platform extensions because think about it, most express companies in the UK country get a space off of these long trains like 9 and 12 coach long. Also, 390 star zero could be added if this happens. Most of the stations real life counterparts have 9 and 12 coach accommodation real life, so why not a game? People can argue that because of lag. I don't think they can. I don't. I think adding a couple more trains won't cause lag. Actually, 20 player service can be re implemented if that's the case. I don't, uh, uh, I don't, uh, I still don't know if 20 player services were like removed or something. I, um, if so, I don't know why. Also, rumor has it that nine car class 80X will come to express, which is evident by the size of at, at St. Helens Bridge, and the length of those are 234 meters long. How do you know that? Oh, the train, oh, the trains, not the platform. Got it. The class 390 slash is less than, than that with a train length of 217.5 meters, which shows that the Pendley is able to come into the game. Now on to Connect. Connect has always had eight coach at separate East, but it's rather difficult to tell if they are planning to implement more double use or attempting to add a class 700 back on it. A class 700 could be possible to come back in game as the class 700 has eight coaches, so it could fit at the airport station. More platform extensions could be implemented for Connect to have max eight to 10 car trains. Also, I just realized we will never see the 755 run on diesel power and game as the whole network will be OHL compatible. No comments. On the 2nd of March 2024, some express trains should be branded with a special livery. Maybe a livery showing ads or something, and also express has never had a special livery of last track. Also, uh, hmm. well, uh, I, uh, this, this suggestion is fine, by the way. Maybe when SCR will reach its 100 million visits. Uh, the 2 to 1 had a 10 million visits livery until it was meshed. The 360 has the 50 million livery. We are talking about Stafford Express trains. Uh, hmm. Like, like special livery for what occasion? Like, uh, 100 million visits, like Dooms 19 said. Uh, on 3rd of March 2024, reasons why I think the 379 should move to connect with 378, replacing it. To start with, the 379 ran out of Stanston Express, which is an airport operator, and I think it's regional, like it is once I get found info. And also, the 378 for a car is more com commuter feeling. No comments. Uh, and finally, uh, on the 3rd of March 2024, those who own the 508 and 701, I think I found the perfect replacement. So firstly, the class 378 could replace the class 508 on Waterline as it did in real life. And also, those who own the 701 before it was removed should get a complimentary class 110 for free. Since it will be accessible to those who didn't own the 701, but since the 701 owners get it for free. Right. I think they, I think the 701 owners already got compensated when it was removed. I don't know though. I did I don't think I play I didn't play SCR at the time. The reason for me thinking that the 710 would be a good long term replacement is that they're that they're in the same family. I don't think the 378 and the 710 will be on the game because of their C arrangement. Also, the 701 was already removed five years ago, and people who tried this train were already compensated. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, they were already compensated. And that'll be it for today's video. Goodbye.